Hello fans and welcome to Blender TC. In today's tutorial we're going to make a quick quick pumpkin. So let's just uh, get rid of the cube. Uh, in fact before we get rid of the cube we'll just cover some of the actual quick keys. We've got G and X which moves it along the red line. G and Y on the Y and G and Z from top to bottom. And of course whoops, moving your mouse lead will take us to and fro. N key will actually open and close this menu on the side and last but not least X will delete. Tab will take you in and out of edit mode but for this uh, tutorial we're just going to add in a object and the object we're going to add in is a the mesh we're going to add in is a UV sphere so just add in a UV sphere and just scale it up. What I'm going to do now is we're actually going to go press the tab key and go into edit mode and we've got point select, line select and face select all of which we're going to be using but line select first so select line select and just randomly select the randomly select uh, the sphere and that's all I'm going to do you just select them just haphazardly it don't really matter uh, that one will do so I've now done that what I'm going to do now is actually hit the proportional editing button which is up there and if you hit this proportion well if you hit the proportional editing button and then press the S key it will actually fetch up this ring this ring is the influence ring and the influence ring like it says actually alters the the way the influence works so if I take that up to there and then press the S key as you can see it just makes it a bit bigger but if I shrink it down in fact let's just scale it up but if I shrink it down with my mouse wheel as you can see it's making it more like that kind of shape and it's that kind of shape we want to actually make a pumpkin and this will become apparent later on so let's just scale it down to that kind of shape and what we're going to do is just S and Z just to actually squish it down into that kind of pumpkin shape and last but not least we're just going to add in a modifier and this modifier is going to be a subdivision surface modifier and we're just going to leave it at one like so and just shade smooth and as you can see we've got something that looks a lot like a pumpkin if we go on point select we can just select this point here with the actual proportional editing still activated I'm just going to G and Z and just grow my selection because I'm wanting to flatten out the bottom of my pumpkin same with the top I'm just going to G and Z just to take it down and in slightly like so so we've now made our pumpkin what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually with the point selected I'm just going to press the X key and we're going to select vertices see we've now created our, a hole in the center of our pumpkin so out of edit mode and I'm just going to apply this modifier or apply the subdivision modifier so to do this you hit this little arrow here and just put apply so we've now got that and what we can do now is we can actually start to scale this in so go on line select select this ring press the alt key down and E and S E and Z S to scale just shrinking down the influence button and E and Z I'm just going to take it up to there just scale it down and E and Z and S Z then zero just to flatten out the top and I'm just going to E and S just to sorry 
Just pressing the full stop key will let me zoom in on it. So E and S and E and S just to finish it off. And F to four. And just to add a bit more interest in this, I'm just going to control and R just add to subdivision modifier. And I'm just going to G and Y. Just to give it that sort of pumpkin shape, like it's just come off the actual vine of our pumpkin plant. So we've now got ourselves a pumpkin, which you can use in any scene to decorate your Halloween scene. And if you wanted, you could actually cut in a shape into this pumpkin. But I've covered that in another tutorial. It's an old tutorial, but it's still covered. And I'm just going to add in the colour, so the new, add in the orange colour. And finally, I'm going to call that orange. And I think I'll add in a stalk. Pressing the Alt key to select the ring. I'm just going to grow this up, so the selection's like that. And just add in a different colour. And just make this a brown. And just assign it. I'm just going to grow it a bit further down by pressing the Alt key and pressing plus. I don't want it to go that far and just assign that. You could add a ring to that. GG. Sorry, GG just to move it in itself. If you wanted your stalk to go that little bit further, and just assign that as well. Right, just to grow the selection. Press thing it, press the Alt key, just grow the selection. And I'm just going to assign the brown just so it could just round the corner like that. So we've got ourselves a pumpkin and as you can see that's quite realistic. Let's turn this to black. Add in a plane. G and Z. Scale it up so we've got some shadows. G and Z just take it up like so. And I suppose what we can do is uh, we'll turn this round. So press the N. Hitting this will allow us to actually change our camera around to the other side. Just to wherever you want it. I'm just going to scale this up. We've made ourselves a pumpkin. And I suppose we could actually have a go at carving this. But this might not work, so just bear with me. Right. So selecting our pumpkin, I'm just gonna select those four there. I'm gonna select those four there. Select those four in the middle, and I'll just select that as well pressing the X key and I'm just going to delete the faces so we've got a simple pumpkin I'm just going to add in a, another subdivision modifier so select the actual spanner or wrench add in a subdivision surface and we've got ourselves a little mouth on our pumpkin and if we actually apply that, what we can do is add a solidify modifier. It's up to you whether you take it in or out. Sometimes it works better in and sometimes it works better the other way round. And then apply that. 
uh, out of edit mode so let me lock the camera so this just stops moving around so and then hit the little arrow down here apply and then we can actually start to actually sculpt this a bit just to make ourselves right. let's just look through our camera and just spin it around a bit and G we can actually just move things around just to shape the eyes Just shaping it. Right. I'll just undo that, I'm making a right old mess of that one. That's Control Z, that's the beauty about it. It can be actually changed around so it can alter things just like that. I'm just going to put a bit of a smile on here and one on the other side. Just grab it a bit further up on the corner. Like so, and scale in the X, scale in the Y even, and there's going to be E and Z, and then scale it down. to a point like a tooth I just think I'll put one more tooth on the other side just here X delete faces I'm just gonna pressing the alt key to actually surround and E and Z and just scale it down and then F to put a face on it well there you have it we've got our very own jack-o-lantern and if we just add in a simple light point light change its color to orange Make it 500 watt so it glows. So looking through our mirror, alter our camera just so we step back a bit. And then just take the world down to black. And we'll just reduce the light. So we've got the other light, which is there. Take it from a thousand watt to five watts. Or fifty. Oh, one hundred. G and Z, just actually move it down. And G, just to move it underneath. Anyway, just to add in a, another light, add in a light, and we're going to add in a spotlight this time. G and Z, increase its brightness to 200 watts. 
and I'm just going to G and Z just to move it down inside the lantern and then I'm going to add an empty which is going to be some arrows G and X just to move it out front and then I'm going to actually have the spotlight point at by adding an object constraint track to the empty which of course will cast the shadows out of the mouth and we can just move the empty then select the empty move the empty and then just increase the light on the world slightly let's just have a look how this renders out a bit naff so let's try to take it into cycles just to see what it looks like in cycles uh, GPU compute just to speed things up F12 just going to increase the size of the plane turn the background to black F12 and just to actually make it a bit more visible I'm just going to add one more final light and the light we're going to actually add is an area light G and Z just to move it above this scale it up take it out of camera shot and the colour will make it I'm sorry, Control Z take it out of camera shot and I'm messing about here and I'm just ruining my uh, image and make it a bluey light just to make it scary and nightly and there you have it you've got yourself your very own pumpkin I'm just gonna slightly change this and I'm just gonna in the render tab there's a thing called denoise and I'm just gonna actually press denoise just to see what it looks like sometimes it ruins the shot sometimes it makes it a lot better let's just have a look at the actual denoise and I think I quite like that so got our pumpkin let's just mess about with the lights that little bit more just to finish things off so there we do, 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 do. it's not the spotlight it's not the plane it's not the point it's the area light that I want to actually change and I'm not sure about the colors make it a little bit brighter try rendering that and uh, what sorry and you can't be how are you going to get this what thing shape around the eyes like that I don't know it's good though isn't it the distorted pumpkin to start with I think <laughs> as you can see that's about finished our pumpkin if you like this tutorial please subscribe to blender TC and enjoy that enjoy your Halloween yeah, I could do it a bit more. I'm just going to try adding some light because I'm just I'm just going to play around with this and just add some light and just bear with me. So all I did is uh, added a picture of the moon and a bit more light. And all I've done is added a little bit of extra light, put a moon in the scene, and uh, I think that's about uh, right for Halloween. Happy Halloween, and if you enjoyed the tutorial, subscribe. Or at least press like. Bye for now.